Located only 30 miles north of Silver City in southwestern New Mexico, Lake Roberts is a great year-round destination for outdoor enthusiasts. The 69-acre man-made lake is named in honor of Austin Roberts, a pilot for New Mexico Department of Game and Fish. Austin and fellow biologist O.C. Gray were both killed in January of 1960 when their plane crashed while delivering hay to starving pronghorns that were trapped on snow-covered plains outside of Las Vegas in northern New Mexico. The cause of the crash was never determined. Wildfires are becoming more intense and frequent to the area, and thankfully, this was just smoke from a nearby controlled burn. However, the abundant water in the lake provides valuable resource for wildfire suppression. During one of our previous visits, we witnessed this huge Columbia Chinook retrieving 2,600 gallons of water, 9,842 liters in a large bucket suspended 200 feet, 61 meters, below the helicopter. The bucket, known as a Bambi bucket, is operated by a pilot who electronically opens the bucket directly over the designated target areas of the wildfire. Nestled in the juniper and pinyon trees on a mesa overlooking Lake Roberts is Mesa Campground. 24 first come, first serve sites, half of which have electric and water for $15 per night. Sites without hookups are $10 per night. Interagency, senior, and access passes are accepted for half price camping. The reasonable fees include water, flush toilets, picnic tables, fire grills, and garbage facilities. Mesa Campground is a popular area and can be very crowded during summer weekends and holidays. The pinyon junipers and the ponderosa pines in the campground are a good area to look for the resident birds, such as Woodhouse's scrub jay, pygmy nuthatch, band-tailed pigeons, Purple Martins, and Hepatic Tanager may be found in the summer. And during summer migration, we have found both Townsend's Wobbler and Virginia's Wobbler. Located below the Mesa campground, a fisherman's trail leads from the boat ramp along the lake's eastern shoreline. This is a great vantage point to look for waterfowl, such as this male bufflehead hanging out with a male and two female cinnamon teal. This is also a great area to scan for osprey during the summer months. With its blue bill, white face, blackish cap, and rich chestnut body, the breeding plumage, male, ready duck, is unmistakable. Native to eastern North America, the American bullfrog has been introduced to the western United States and several other parts of the world. Measuring up to 8 inches long and weighing just over 2 pounds or about 1 kilogram, the bullfrog is the largest North American frog. 
This species will eat almost anything that can fit into their mouths, including other native frogs, some of which are being driven towards extinction. Plans are now being implemented to remove bullfrogs from all sensitive areas. Dragonflies were not too numerous during our visit, but we did find this male flame skimmer, its amber wings glistening in the sunlight. At the upper end campground, there are 12 first come, first serve sites with no hookups. Vault toilets, drinking water, picnic tables, fire grills, and garbage facilities are available for $10 per night. At the far end of the campground, a short wooded trail opens out to offer views of the lake. While we were camped there, many of the trees were in blossom and attracted many finches, including evening grosbeaks. This colorful large finch is a sporadic visitor to Lake Roberts and is typically found further north in a higher elevation forest regions such as the Rocky Mountains. It is listed as vulnerable due to the dramatic declining populations. Most of the flock consisted of over a hundred of the smaller pine siskins. Compared to most other finches, which are typically bright colored, the heavily streaked pine siskin has subtle yellow edging on the wings and tail. It also has a sharply pointed bill. This male Cassin's finch appeared to be having some difficulty in reaching some of the blossoms as it was getting blown around by fairly strong winds. Both the Cassin's finch and the pine siskin are mainly uncommon winter visitors to the area. The rather plain looking Canyon Toei is a year round resident. A trailhead at the end of the campground leads to the west shore of Lake Roberts. Some of the birds that we have found here include this wintering long-eared owl roosting in the trees and both a tiny sora and the larger Virginia rail. The common black hawk is an uncommon summer visitor to the area and can usually be located by its shrill call. Mainly a tropical species, this hawk typically inhabits undisturbed rivers and streams with tall trees in remote canyons of the southwestern United States. The trail beyond the upper end campground is also a good area to look for a number of butterflies, such as this large and distinctive morning cloak. Known as the Camberwell Beauty in Britain, 
This butterfly has a lifespan of 11 to 12 months, one of the longest lifespans for a butterfly. Other species along the trail included this Arizona hair streak, great purple hair streak, Canyonline Seder, Four Spotted Skipperling, Orange Headed Roadside Skipper, and the seldom encountered and very local Orange Giant Skipper. We felt very fortunate to discover several wandering garter snakes. This non-venomous and semi-aquatic snake is a subspecies of the Western Terrestrial Garter Snake, a species which is widespread in the variety of habitats across Western North America. From looking at the abandoned snake skins, these guys had been using this den for quite some time. The only other reptile that we encountered was this greater short-horned lizard. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel so that you do not miss our next Advent Nature. A big thank you to all of our current subscribers for your support.